Okay, so this is uh, going to be a video for how would you go about creating um, writing, not on your screen, but you want to share this maybe during a Teams video. Um, and so you're, you're conferencing with students, you want to be able to write, um, not necessarily on the screen, um, but you do want to be able to write with your handwriting. Because um, I'm just not a fan of using your mouse to write, things like that. Now I'm using an external document camera. You're going to need some sort of an external camera. Um, for me, it, it's a document camera. Uh, you could use a different webcam to do very similar things. Uh, it's really about trying to get that um, to hold still and not to, uh, to zoom and zoom out. If you do not have a document camera, uh, maybe you can talk to Mr. Unger about uh, getting access to that um, as a resource. If you feel like this is going to be a, a big game changer for you. I'll show you what it looks like here in just a second. But um, because I'm using an IPVO um, webcam or document camera, uh, I would go in and I would search um, IPVO. Uh, and I actually want the IPVO visualizer. Um, and what we want to do is download um, the IPVO software. This is the visualizer, this is what we're looking for. Uh, the whiteboard um, uh, can, can be a useful app too depending on what you're doing with it. Um, and then the annotator allows you to draw on the computer screen itself with your mouse. Uh, if you don't have a, a wireless mouse, uh, it can be kind of an annoyance uh, to do that. So I, I'm just gonna down, I would download the visualizer, which I currently already have, um, uh, and, and kind of go from there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, okay, and so what I have here is I opened up my IPVO visualizer which right now you can see is going to give me the option to you know, work on an equation 3x plus 5 equals 17 and I can work through that. One of the problems with the document cameras and webcams is they're going to want to autofocus because that's how they're default set to do. Um, once I've written something down and I kind of like the zoom that it's on there, I'm going to choose this focus option and I'm going to choose manual focus. It's going to keep the camera from trying to focus on my hands every time I move. It's, it's going to keep its focus back on the paper. Uh, if you don't, it just becomes a, an annoyance for when you're watching the video. It's constantly moving around. Um, so I, I think that that's a sort of a, a simple fix that really helps a ton. Because again, this is a document camera, not a webcam. If you're using a webcam, maybe it does a better job of, of being fluid. But with this, it's, it's just something that's stuck. So now with that, set and I've got my uh, visualizer turned on, when I go in to do a Teams and I choose to do a math department meeting, okay, so we're going to go in a math department, I'm going to create a meeting just as a way to uh, create this video of what it would look like. Um, now there's a couple of choices here. It talks about switching the camera because I have two cameras on, I can actually switch to the other camera. Um, and it can try to find it and that sometimes that works out really well sometimes that doesn't I'm going to stay with the camera that's on me because I'm going to conference with my students I typically want to be able to um, let them see my beautiful face uh, but anyway we're going to go ahead and click me now um, and at this point I think if I switch my camera I'm going to get it maybe I won't um, so it's not going to let me do it right it doesn't let me use a document camera for that but right here where it says share, this is going to be my, my kicker. This is going to force everyone to see what I see. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click on my visualizer. Now this, what's highlighted in red, is going to show up on everybody else's screen. And they you know, are stuck in there as long as I want to continue sharing. And so now when I'm in here and I say oh, I'm going to minus 5, all of this is something that the students are able to see live while I do it and figure out that X is 4. So I, whatever it is you're doing, if it's something you want to be able to write by hand, um, I think it's always good to work on our oral communication skills, but I also realize sometimes we just need to be able to write something down uh, to give ourselves ease of, of ability to communicate and create clarity. But that, that's really it. Um, and then when I don't want to share anymore, I'm done with this, I click stop sharing, and I'm back to the traditional uh, Teams method. Um, one of the things about the sharing is you lose your ability to keep the chat bar up that we would have over here 
while I'm sharing, I'm focused on that one thing. Um, so it, it communication does become a little bit of a, a lag, but if they have their microphone on because they're asking the question, then uh, then that's fine, and it, you should work around that. Uh, but that that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have more questions or follow up on it, just come find me.